What's up, everybody? Graham Green back here today. Thank you for joining me. I have a pod system today, a pod system from that same company, InMood. Well, today we have the Pebble from InMood. This is the white one, but it comes in a few different colors, blue and red and yellow, I think. It comes with 2.8 mesh coils, which hopefully these perform as well as that Revolve. USB type C on the bottom for charging. We're gonna start this review today. In fact, I'm already getting a little bit ahead of myself, but we're starting this review today. We're gonna slip down, set this up, I'll get this going. I'll meet you back in a few days. Let, let this, let's go. All right, what's up, Pebble from In Mood? Here's what you get. It looks like it's gonna have a similar-ish pod attachment system like magnets maybe spread out just like that Revolve did. Hopefully it doesn't have the same problems that that Revolve did. Look at you, little Pebble. Not much to see. It feels shiny and plasticky all the way throughout. There's a little uh, USB-C on the bottom for charging. It's a slender little fellow, well, at least from some angles it's slender. The pod does sit a little bit deeper down than that Revolve, which I'm excited about. Coil head's gonna go in the bottom here, and it's got a very similar fill system. And then yeah, USB-C charging cable, where them coil heads at? Not that I was really expecting it to, but there's not a chance that this is ever gonna stand up in any capacity. There's no flat spot on this. Get out our coil head and put maybe like one or two drops right down the middle. Just something I like to do. It's not necessary Necessary. This company obviously has their own coil heads and these look exactly like the same coils used in that Revolve. They even have a flat side on them despite not needing a flat side. There's nowhere to line up the flat side on this. Oh. Oh, okay, wow, that, uh, that was very, very nice. Very open mouth to lung. Flipping the pot around doesn't seem to adjust the airflow at all. I might try to twist that coil head right now while we're here, who cares? Well, Grim Green is once again incorrect because there is a flat side. The flat side kind of goes up. There's a little tab right here where your flat side sits against. Sits against. It's not painfully obvious, but it is there. And that's also gonna move your airflows to the side, stiffen up the draw, just like I wanted. Maybe if you do it right the first time, Time, Nick, you won't have to fiddle with it as much. Hair trigger, real nice flavor. All right, well, here we go. I'm starting my review for this. I'm gonna keep using it. I'll meet you back up on top in a few days. We'll hand out some banana stickers. Just wanna do a real quick update on this little pebble pod. I've been using it really, really heavily, and I have found that you still can't quite vape all of the liquid out of your pod. You still you get that phantom liquid. It's not quite as much as on that Revolve, but it's still there, and that's kind of a bummer. It stayed relatively clean over like four or five refills. It's only been, what, three days with this so far? And the shape of this, look, it, it's not as awkward as you think. That's what I was really worried about, it being really awkward to hold, but it's not. You just kind of, it just, you know, it's like a little pebble, really and it just fits in your hand really well. Your hand will just kind of naturally hold this shape. It's got a real unique form factor, but as I've already said a, a thousand times, real comfortable. Pod fits in here nice, securely. The magnets feel good and it feels firm. When I whip liquid out of it, I still will always put my, you know, my finger right on the pod because you don't want to launch it across the room. Mm -hmm. There is an open side, closed side as well. And I keep swapping back and forth between the two because I can never quite decide which one I really want to use. The open side is open and nice and I like it, but it does sometimes cause that switch to not be able to fire. You know, it kind of sputters out. And the tight side, wait, I think this is the tight side. Mm-hmm. The tight side is quite tight, but I don't know that I like it. It's real spongy. I don't know. It's taken getting some used to. I'm new to the really tight airflow enjoyment. I've always enjoyed an open airflow, but there's been a few pods recently that I've used that have kind of changed my mind on the subject and I like that tight airflow. So maybe this tight airflow will grow on me. Anyway, I'm still just on coil head one, maybe three days, five to six refills. I've really enjoyed using it so far. These coil heads are nice. They are, I think, the exact same coil heads from their other Revolve product, which is fine because I actually still like this coil head and I've still been using it like crazy, trying to, you know, really 
push it to the limit. And most of all, I just kind of like sliding this across my giant mouse pad on my desk. I don't know. I think I kind of prefer the tight airflow on this. Anyway, we're not ending this party here. I'm going to keep using this. I'll see you back here in a few days to hand out some banana stickers. Uh, we're not ending this here. I just wanted to do a real quick update and let you guys know that I went ahead and just opened another pod like I inevitably do. I always want to have like two coil heads going just in case, I don't know, one of them can be really great and one of them might not be. I like to have two. I've been scrutinizing over these little pebbles probably way too much for just one singular review, but damn it, that's just how I roll. So just a quick update, another one's going. I, I promise it's just gonna be a few days. I'll meet you back out here. We'll hand out some banana stickers. Ah, uh, the classic car shot. Well, I just wanted to say something real quick about this pebble. Still enjoying them tremendously. I got both of them in the car with me today, but here's a thing I've noticed that I don't necessarily like, and I can't quite place my finger on it. I think I said this about the original Vapresso Cross as well, but it just feels overall a little bit overclocked to me. There's no adjustments. You don't adjust your wattage, you don't adjust anything on here. The wattage you get is based on your resistance. And after only five days of use on this particular pod, it's it's starting to taste burnt. It feels like I wish I could just turn my wattage down like five watts and then I would enjoy it again. It's enjoyable, but it feels like it's just on that verge of burnt. You know the verge of burnt flavor. Still going. All right, uh, I'll see you guys in a few more days. So you can kind of disregard what I just said because I kind of just realized just now what was going on. The reason that this feels overclocked to me, I'm using a 70 VG liquid in here. Ah, that is where the, uh, you know, that almost burnt feeling is coming from. I guess it turns out that these pebbles need something like a 50-50 because that's what I have in here. No such almost burnt feeling. No such overclocked feeling. It's just uh, GD perfect in every way, honestly. So you just straight up cannot use a higher VGE liquid in this, even though I can use a higher VGE liquid in some other pods, but you definitely can't in this. Okay, wrap this up. Here's where I'm landing on the pebble. I don't know that I love this form factor. It's comfortable. It's just a little big and cumbersome feeling. It feels a little, you know, Duplo-ish. But even with that said, these coil heads, which are not the same coil heads for the Revolve pod, by the way, I think I said that earlier, not the same coil heads, it's a different coil head. These coil heads are wonderful, wonderful. Even on the open setting, it's a hair trigger. The tight setting is tight and enjoyable. Okay, let's do banana stickers. This is gonna be difficult. Just be, simply because of the way that it vapes, I feel like I wanna give it mm, at least eight banana stickers. Yeah, it's happening. Eight banana stickers. I guess it's not that big of a revelation. The thing just vapes really, really very well and good. Good battery life. I don't love the form factor, and now I'm just repeating myself, so we might as well go to vape budget hands. This doesn't seem to be available uh, literally anywhere, and I have no insider information as to the future pricing of this pod. And when that's the case, I'll just say I would be shocked if this was if this pod was over forty dollars. I'd probably be willing to pay thirty-five to forty dollars for this like solid, solid of a vape. Didn't address the LED on the bottom. Big, big white LED on the bottom that you can't turn off. It's not a huge deal. You vape this in your car at night, just blind you. No, that's not a deal breaker for me. Well, we've reached the end of the video, so I'm gonna put a bunch of science in the description of this video because when it comes to a grim green video, what? Because when it comes to the science of vaping, yes, I would like you to listen to those scientists. Me, I'll just tell you, no matter what's in your hand, you guys, absolutely, let's keep on vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30, and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 